The one-two pitch. And Patelli fans on a pitch in the dirt. Frick throws down to first. And Knapp has Kate. Knapp kicks and fires. And he goes with the slider on a pitch that was well beyond the left-handed batter's box. The bad news, Farrow, hey, he took a swing. Worked through the second, one, two, three. The answer is absolutely on another slider. Strike three. That's five strike pitch on the way. And that is clobbered into the gap in left center field. Right at the 370 sign. It's rolling in front of the warning track. Frick will take two. Standing up. It's another double. Tommy Tuba. Gallios 1-1. That's bounced up the middle. The shortstop Patelli gets to it. He throws behind second base to get Hawk by a full stride. But Austin. Ball is on the ground. The 1-0, it's on the ground, weakly pushed over to first base. The run scores, the throw over to Gallo, covering the bag. And Gallo uncorks a 1-0 pitch that's swatted right at the right fielder, Carrier. I think he moved around a little more than he had to. Knapp heaves the 2-2 to the plate, and he may have another home run. This is a line shot off the new video board. He almost hit himself in the face. And the game is tied at one. And for all the accolades, highest rated recruit in the class, two-time state player of the year. Carrier hasn't had a lot of opportunities on the season, but the ones that he's had this weekend, he has cashed in on. Yeah, with all that hype, I mean, he's clearly a little bit higher than you're used to with a normal bat. First pitch, the next man up. Kafis hit deep the other way to left, and well, it was brought back over the top of the wall by Carolina's left fielder, Cook how the genetics work, but it's all working for Viegas as he rocks a shot to left center. Honeycutt races in, makes the catch. Again, a lesser center fielder's game. 3-0, and that's low for ball four. All of a sudden, that control that Knapp had through the... The 1-1, fastball, and that is socked into right center. Horvath oh, is there in front of the warning track. And goodness gracious, Miami's got two runners stacked up near second base, Kyle. Morales was right on top of the bag with the 3-0 fastball off the plate. And Sear takes a four-pitch walk, second defensively. The first pitch to Patelli, and that is line just left the shortstop and in the left center. Capus comes in to give Miami a 2-1 lead. Morales adds to it 3-1, and Patelli with a two RBI. Payoff pitch, both runners on the move. Bouncing ball over to third base. Castanazzi gets to it, throws over to first. Tricky play because Sear was right in his line of to the Chantilly, Virginia native. That's grounded right through the mound. It comes to Patelli behind second base, and I'll tell you what, he's just made another nice play. Three, Chestnut to the fastball off the end of the bat. Horvath grounds to Patelli, and there's a laser strike over to first. We'll see how the pros Look at him as Vandebrake goes down swinging on strike three. And Chestnut. But those were all the hits that he had in the series as he takes ball four outside and down to first he goes. 2-0, fastball bounced over to Wilkerson. Steps on second, throws to first. The Tar Heels turn two. That's pulled towards left and Casey Cook, no play at this into the netting. And the Canes have homered for the second time in game three and lead four to one. Levinson goes yard for the seventh time this year. That's RBI number 27. And for the team that's hit more home runs than anybody, the payoff pitch, and that's outside for ball four, Mateus. Next pitch to Patelli, hit the other way in the air towards left. Casey Cook running towards the line in fair territory, brings it down. The inning is over. It's Chestnut. He's come in the game and he's been very effective. There's another ground ball to the infield. This finds Patelli, who easily makes the exchange to throw. All with different records at 500. As Wilkerson bounces over to first, Kafis. Steps on the bag unassisted, and the Tar Heels go three up and three down for a third to Gonzalez. And that's ball four low. That's what teams that go to the 0-1. Pitch driven high to right center. Honey cuts back there amidst the shadows in front of the track, and Perez set down for the first out of the sixth. 
Sandy deals and a base hit through the gap in to right field. Gonzalez goes first to second. Carrier, the possum somehow lumbered off and order was restored in Clemens, North Carolina. Another base hit to right field. Gonzalez comes around from second. Throws from right field. Three catch a tag applied. There's one out. Throws back down to second. There's two outs. The inning is over. The score stays the same. Kyle. There's a ground ball, and that's out of the infield into left field. It's a single for Casey Cook, who's two for three, and that snaps the streak of nine in a row set down by the reliever. The stretch. The 1-1, one, one, he waited on it, and he popped it into shallow center. Patelli is back, makes an over-the-shoulder catch, and he almost tried to deke Cook into thinking that he wasn't going to be. The 2-2, two, two. Vandebrake, off speed, flips it into right field. It's a base hit. Carolina may be mounting a rally with two board and one down. The payoff pitch outside, ball four. And Cal, that was destined to be a ball. The millisecond at left chestnut's hand, it was nowhere close. I was going to say, while he was in the windup. And strike three, Stokely. Thought that was for the first two out hit of the game, Carolina is. Sent his pitch, and Frick responds with a base knock into right center field. Cook comes in to score. Here comes Vandebrake, and now Honey comes to throw up the third base line, and no way to avoid that. Vance runs into the catcher, Perez. The out recorded, the inning is over, and hopefully Perez is okay as he is still down in front of home plate. Vance pulled up before he hit him, but still, those are some big bodies down on the field colliding, and it looks like everybody's going to head their separate way. Coach Forbes gets a word from the Canes that feels like Perez will be able to continue. Trying to avoid a 9-9 nine and nine start in the league as Poston fires ball four low and away. And there's strike three looking. You don't see the 2-2. Two -two. And Carrier looks at strike three. Down he goes. Poston's first pitch to the lefty. Pulled past second and into right center field. That has Gonzalez running around second. He'll get to third easily. The Canes have runners at first and third with two down. And Edgardo Villegas next up in the order. It's in two down. Next pitch. Big fly to shallow left field. Casey Cook calls off Honeycutt. And the inning is over. The walk doesn't hurt. Two left stranded in game, so I don't know that he's available either. After missing outside, the 1-1. One, one, Wolf into center field. Patelli laid out and couldn't get there. The 1-1 one, one, lined in the left field. There's a dive by Levinson, makes the catch, and Horvath had a base. Sinta's first pitch. Hit past the second baseman and into right field. Cook advances to second base. Vandebrake, Sinta delivers high and ball four. Honeycutt takes a walk. Go to pitch to Grintz is pulled over to short. Patelli quickly tosses to Sear, throw down to first, and that was the absolute worst thing that could have happened for Carolina. A 6-4-3 double play ball. The pitch, oh, some high heat gets Morales swinging and down he goes. He didn't like strike. 2-0. That's blasted into the sky in center. Honeycutt under the sunlight, roams underneath it and catches out number two. First pitch to the righty, and it came inside and hit him. He's got the guard on his left arm and the home plate. Castanazio for three. The 2-2 two -two lined in the left center, and that's got French almost overrunning it, but reaching back across his body to make the catch. He's athletic, he's almost a little too. It was motion. And the pitch gets Frick swinging for strike three. And on the hands, fluttered down the right field line in foul territory, and the catch made up against the wall by the first baseman, Capus. And nobody on, and the one-two pitch to Reamer. Popped up, left side, Morales giving chase. As the ball comes down, it falls into the glove of the Canes All-American. And the game is over, the series is over and the Canes win game three, four to three.
really, really well played series by both sides. Every game came down to just the smallest.